Uh, shocking stage selection from both of these players, Mario and Rob. They're both in really good spirits. So we've got Cape Gyro back in the mouth. And we got, oh, air dodging, the forward smash. It's such an interesting matchup. Rob versus Mario. Look at these up air and up B combos. Both characters are really good at walling other players out. Mario's got all these back air shenanigans. Rob has gyros and lasers. Mostly gyros, but oh, goes for the hard down hits. Hard. Hoo ha. Beep, boop, and TSM. The hopes for worlds lie on the shoulders of Reginald. Versa B is actually really nice. Down throw. We see you can pop tape. You're gonna pop tape. Two later when you're not uh when you get knocked out, is that the the point? You get second again, you get 25% of the pot. <laughs> Shoutouts to BSB for 65-25 on your pot split. Fair to all players. It's just a fourth band in an ass. Okay. Oh. Oh, don't don't forfeit nest for money. Hurt your first. If you try and forfeit. Well, at that point, we decided we had to go to Kingsway because you. Took too long. Because we were gonna go to Sushi California. Shout out to Sushi California, by the way. Let's get the dash attack. Oh, yeah. That's all you need to say, dash attack. No, that's how we would know which, which match it is. I played him at Sea Land, that was it. Uh, yeah, I played him. Uh, I just played him at Sea Land. He was in my pool, that was it. I came so close to being the only one to take the game off. That was all I wanted. But here he is. Came in for his fourth top four appearance in his four tournaments. Sitting at three fourth or two fourth place finishes and a third. Uh, it's, this is correct. I don't have the sheet on in front of me. I am being corrected that this will be the fifth fourth place appearance. And um, I would just like to point out. I have dealt with one cake on a number of characters, but you get a spike. And then he comes back because he plays characters with ridiculous recoveries. Whether it's Kirby or Rob. And it's just not fair. Oh, who is one? Tombstone! <laughs> Game one, on a bun cake. Uh, that is, in fact, the first game he's won against Reggie today. If I'm not... Confirm, Reggie won 2-0 in winners. So, Bun Cake looking, looking for the saltiest run back to run it back 2-0 himself. Look at you, if you look at his face right now, that is the face of a man who is so torn up on the inside that he lost. They are enemies. He has a deep-seated hatred. One day, hundreds of years ago, 
when their family settled on these lands, uh, One Cake's great, 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 great grandfather stole Aegeus's great, 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 great grandfather's goat. Something along these lines. I don't know. It's they tell this story all the time at like family reunions. But we're going to game two, Town and City, Mario versus Rob here at Vancouver Street Battle. We're going to get smash number six. That's what we're on today. That gyro the laser. Oh, sour spot. He was just going for it all. And here we go. Mario's bread and butter. Down throw up tilt. True combo until for a while. Oh, footstooled. And he is just... One cake is saying, I'm not going away in fifth place. I'm sorry. Uh, beat me in Winterside, but my character will never sit down. Uh, it feels like this, these two's days today, it's like a metaphor for Muhammad and his clock. Where Reggie was the teacher in the school trying to put him down. Sends him down to lose, gets him arrested. And then Bunk Cake says, no. And now he's going to be going up to see the President of the United States, which is the fourth place match, Loser Semis. That is the storyline. It makes perfect sense. Long's looking at me like, what is, what's going on? But it makes sense. Gyros, trying to wall out Reggie. I'm throwing it down, cover his options. Still sitting on three stocks and a healthy lead, but up smash will take it. We're sitting here, game two. Reggie down 95%. Stock count is even. And he gets a 32% down throw up tilt combo into the up beat. The boop, part of beat boop. Up air, not quite enough. 112 is pretty high. A down throw up air might be enough to take it does appear that Bun Cake is on a one-way ticket at the moment right into top four unless Reggie can pull off an incredible comeback it's really tough to do when he's thrown out so many beautiful fair spikes and not gotten anything out of it because Bun Cake ends up recovering with his insane insane recovery Puncake is able to play in a position where he can just say, hey, come to me, but uh, there's no problem slugging it out. They're going fisticuffs on this one. Back throw. Oh, the gyro and the laser both helping covers return to the stage. It's interesting to see how many people we still have here playing setup. Shout outs to everyone here. Shout out to these two. Gius and Bunt Cake. Gius has the full flood. Can potentially get this stock. Might be able to make it. There it is. Great forward air. Sits him right down. And now Bunt Cake is looking to edge guard. Gius gets back to the stage. Down throw. Up air. Doesn't quite connect. That's all he needs though. Down throw up air will kill. Town of City, low ceiling. Down smash. Since it's such awkward angles. Good air dodge. Back throw. As long as he's not caught on those platforms, he's got nothing to really worry about. Not gonna quite die just yet. Mario with Rage is scary. But 34% is not nearly kill percent. This is not Lucario. Oh. Almost fishing for some grabs. Oh, jabs. This, oh my goodness. Down. Now, now this is a position where Bun Cake needs to be afraid. Unless that Nair is barely not enough. Laser! You don't normally see laser kill off top. You just kill off top. Oh, there's, there's. Bun Cake is now popping off aggressively and 